Good morning, Robert Scribbler here with the OBX Wave Report, filming to the east and southeast here from Nags Head and looking at a relatively gray sky as some thunderstorms move offshore. These thunderstorms rolled through the area last night and into the early morning. Winds right now still relatively strong out of the southwest, I'd say, in the range of about 10 to 20 miles per hour. The uh, wave monitors, I believe, right now are under predicting the wind strength, but the wind is expected to die down throughout the day, and the swell conditions, I believe, are likely to improve as we get into the late morning and early afternoon hours. Right now, we've got waves in the range of maybe one to two, possibly some three-footers coming in. It is low tide right now, so we've got a lot of sandbars exposed here in Nags Head. Uh, at this location, not many surfers, or actually no surfers right now, except for we've got, oh, what looks like a new surfer trainee here down at the beach, uh, learning how to position and paddle on the surfboard. And then as we look to the south, we can see in the distance here, uh, looks like over down at Bonnet Street Beach Access, quite a few surfers on the sandbar there, where there is a very good break, from what I understand. I haven't been surfing down at Bonnet Street, but a lot of people have. How are you guys doing? And uh, we got some surfers coming by here to get more. It looks like a couple of classes starting up today. And um, yeah, so to mention classes, um, I did manage, uh, we, we did just start uh, teaching new surfers here at OBX Dawn Patrol. We've had some good experiences with some new surfers here in the Outer Banks. It's a great time to learn here in the Outer Banks. Uh, late June, July, conditions tend to be calmer. Um, and although, of course, the Outer Banks waves can be forceful at any time of the year. But it is a good time to learn. Uh, water temperatures are warmer and uh, just overall good conditions for the surf. Okay, so let's get into some of the details of the wave report for this morning. Uh, but at first, as far as details go, I'd like to talk to you guys a bit about some weather information. And we did have a tropical storm out in the North Atlantic, um, but that storm has been blown apart by wind shear, and that is Tropical Storm Sydney. Uh, Tropical Storm Sydney is now just a area of disturbed weather off the Bahamas and the U.S. East Coast to our south and east. It is kicking up some swells in its local region in the range of about 7 to 8 feet. Um, and generally here on the other banks we're receiving a base swell from the trade winds. Cindy appears to be pumping up that base swell just a little bit. Uh, I did want to mention Cindy because the National Hurricane Center has listed a 30% chance for Cindy to restring. I know we did mention El Nino for this year and the warmer than normal water temperatures in the North Atlantic in previous episodes of the OBX Wave Report. I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a refresher. There's two forces tugging and pulling against each other on hurricane formation in the North Atlantic. The one issue is much warmer than normal sea surface temperatures provide a lot of fuel for hurricane formation. And on the flip side though, El Nino, unfortunately, well, uh, El Nino does provide some wind shear which tends to chop down the hurricanes and the tropical cyclones. So you've got those two forces pushing against each other and we've seen the impacts of those forces in the hurricane season thus far with the early formation of hurricanes off of Africa, that typically doesn't happen until August. And um, I'm sorry, early formation of tropical cyclones, not of hurricanes. We, we haven't had a hurricane form off of Africa yet. But we did have two tropical cyclones, two tropical storms, Cindy and Brett, that began just off of Africa. And that doesn't typically happen until later in the season, particularly in August and onward. Um, but then after their formation, that both of these storms did encounter quite a lot of wind shear, which uh, chopped up Brett in the Caribbean and chopped up Sydney just off the U.S. East Coast here and in the Bahamas. So 
uh, those two forces coming into play for the hurricane season. And that's important because here in the Outer Banks and elsewhere on the East Coast, hurricanes do provide large swells for wave surfing. And we can <laughs> see some fun antics going on with the uh, surf school over here. Okay. Uh, let's get down to the local wave reports. Right now at Nags Head, waves in the range of one to three feet. It's uh, cleaning up, although we still, as you can probably hear in this video, the strong winds coming in from the south and west, which is providing a little bit of chop. Um, primary swell coming in out of the southeast at 2.9 feet. That is a seven second swell. Winds out of the south, southwest, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Air temperatures in the range of about 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Ocean water temperatures a little bit cooler today with those west winds pushing the warm waters offshore at 69 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, weather conditions starting off cloudy this morning, getting mostly sunny by afternoon. Highs in the middle 80s. Southwest winds calming down to 5 to 10 miles per hour by late morning, early afternoon. By later in the afternoon, we do have a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Heading on down south to Rodanthe. We've got waves in the range of two to three feet uh, and a primary swell coming in in the south at 4.4 feet at seven seconds. South-south winds a bit stronger there in Rodanthe at about 15 miles per hour, so a bit choppier down there at Rodanthe with those stronger south-southwest winds. Air temperatures in the range about 72 degrees. Ocean water temperatures much warmer at Rodanthe at 77. And uh, that is the case as you head on down the other banks. Um, at Buxton, in fact, uh, water temperatures are very warm. We'll get to that in a second. Weather conditions at Rodanthe, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Uh, tending to stay stronger down there. The further south you get, those winds are going to stay stronger. And then chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and evening, 20%. And then last of all at Buxton, Wave heights in the range are about two feet, pretty choppy down there with some strong west-southwest winds in the 15 to 20, maybe even some 25 mile an hour winds there in Buxton. And primary swell coming in out of the southeast at 1.8 feet. That is a nine second swell. Air temperatures at Buxton, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, so a bit cooler down there at Buxton, but ocean water temperatures at Buxton, 80 degrees, positively tropical down there at Buxton. It's amazing how much a little bit of distance makes. It's about you know, 30 miles or so, you know, maybe 40 miles down to Buxton from my present location. And then the ocean water temperatures though, about 11 degrees warmer. So if you want the warm water, head south. If you want the cleaner waves, stay up here to the north. Weather conditions for today at Buxton. Storms early. Um, as a thunderstorm moved on through earlier today, it's probably heading out, but you can see the clouds down to the south, so it might still be raining down there at Buxton. Sunny by the time you get into the late morning, early afternoon. And highs in the lower 80s. Southwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour calming down to 10 to 20 miles per hour by afternoon. Uh, chance of a thunderstorm later, chance of precipitation 20%. All right, so thank you for joining me for this session of the OBX wave report as I film off of Nags Head here. We got a surfer going into the water, uh, a couple of surf classes getting together here. And I just like to apologize if the quality of the video is a little bit lower. I, uh, my cell phone exploded, so I'm using a backup cell phone right now and for filming. And But we do have a new top-of-the-line model coming in the mail, so the video should improve considerably uh, in a day or two. So thank you for joining me once again for this session of the OBX Wave Report. And as I always do, or as I tend to do, I guess I haven't in a couple times, as I tend to do at the end of these videos, I'd like to encourage everyone to please do everything they can to help speed the transition to clean energy, which will help protect our coastlines from the impacts of climate change driven by fossil fuel burning. Those impacts being rising sea levels, more intense storms, and a nasty ocean acidification that harms our sea life that we all enjoy and love and gain so much from. For those of you who are interested in learning to surf, please check out 
UBX Dawn Patrol. We've got surfer training sessions in, in full swing as we get into the summer here. And uh, it is my pleasure to be able to introduce some new surfers to the water, give you guys some basic techniques that you can practice and work on throughout your life and open up a world of surfing adventures to you. So thank you for joining me once again, and I will be back with you shortly.